Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And today, you know, every once in a while, you know, I've been checking out Steam and Steam Blockchain, and I want to talk about the DLive app that is part of a Steam Blockchain today. You know, what it is, you know, what it does, and who it can compete with, actually. That's the interesting part. So to get started, DLive is an app that is built onto the Steam Blockchain, so you have to have a Steam and accounts so that you can, like, you know, your likes, of course, provide that person with a little bit of steam, which in turn is worth money. And it offers two services, even though it's named DLive, it actually offers a live streaming service and a video service. So very, very similar to YouTube. It doesn't offer playlists, you know, nothing like that, but it gives you a live streaming service and a video uh, service. Just upload it, you know, and then you stream it that way. So. It's quite interesting the way this works. Now, when you live stream something, it gets pretty annoying because you have to manually input all the data each time. So write the description every time, upload the thumbnail each time, and do the tags each time. Well, on YouTube, you don't have to do all that. However, DLive gives you tags for your stream while YouTube doesn't, although I think YouTube overall has better search and discovery than DLive does. DLive's video upload process is just normal. You upload the video and it's there. They can people can search for it, watch it, you know, do whatever with it. But I think the big twist for this is since it's attached to the Steam blockchain, first of all, when you post it onto, when you upload anything on DLive or you go live on DLive, it posts it to your Steam at blog as well. So you might not even know this, but your Steam at blog also gets content too. Beyond that, you get paid for the likes. Remember, Steam it, you get uh, for your upvotes, you get a little bit of payment, you know, whether how much, depend, depends on a lot of factors, okay? And DLive, personally, to, be, to me, has been very, very resourceful and very nice to me, actually. They have taken their main DLive account and liked some of my stuff and give me a good chunk of change. Like, it's a lot of Steam power. I think if I didn't share with Ragnar, because I streamed with Ragnar a couple times, and, you know, he has a Steam account, so it's easy to share between him. I think if I didn't share with him, I'd be up to, like, probably, let's say a good $300 earned from DLive, maybe more, just because... Um, they like streams that are of good quality. DLive is really, really hard to leverage an audience on. And that is because, well, there's no search and discovery that is very good on the website. It is search and discovery unfriendly, as opposed to YouTube, where search and discovery is very friendly if you input your data correctly. And I think this is DLive and DTube. You know, I talked about DTube. I've talked about Steemit. Their biggest detractor is search and discovery is absolute crap on these websites. It's there. It exists, yes, but it's just bad. DLive, there's not a lot of live streamers right now. So you may actually get, you know, spotted by something. They just might go on the website and you might be front page because there's no one there, you know. Well, I mean, there's a few people there. But... I mean, you can't search stuff up, and your broadcasts, I haven't figured out how to replay my own broadcasts. I can download them, but I can't click on the link to the live stream and then get the replay of it. It's very weird. Right now, DLive is in its early stages. I don't think it compete with YouTube right now. I think DLive is a better app than the DTube app that they have, just because, I mean, on a technical level, it offers you more things. On an audience level, DTube is more known than DLive, and DTube can also give you a higher upvote than DLive can. But still, I think DLive is generally... Their platform seems to be a lot more giving. They offer a lot more contests than DTube as well. DLive has, like, normal DLive contests. They had a DLive Valentine's contest. They have a Make DLive Better contest. Like, all these contests where they offer extra rewards, and they don't give you this stuff, they upvote you. So it's like, you know, I prefer DLive over DTube because DLive is basically exactly DTube, but with more benefits. The only the only downside to any of these Steam blockchain apps, including Steam it itself, is the audience size. 
The audiences are very small for these websites. Steemit itself doesn't even have a million registered users, and it doesn't even have 100,000 active users. So take that into account. You know, If you get even like two viewers on DLive, that's a big number is two people watching at once. More or less, you know, standard. I mean, if you do YouTube after a while, you can get a good five every day if you do it for a good time. And Dr. Disrespect on Twitch, yeah, his numbers aren't even, probably aren't even possible on DLive. So this is just a quick video explaining to you guys how DLive works. Overall, I've been streaming a lot on DLive just because it provides me a source of income. It provides me, you know, revenue. I need revenue for the obvious task of, well, I need to be able to buy things for me, purchase. But with that being said, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new, and if you want, you can follow me on DLive. You know, you don't have to. I live stream on YouTube and Twitch as well. But DLive is kind of where, you know, I get that little extra bit of money that I can use maybe to buy new games or, I don't know, buy new computer parts because I'm going to need computer parts soon if the Bitcoin miners will stop buying the graphics cards. But, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Stream Vlogs, Team Post, or whatever I decide to make.